Hello everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate how to determine different blood group. First, take a cotton soaked with rubbing alcohol and disinfect your finger. Prick your finger with a sterilized needle. Pour few drops of blood in three parts of the slide and in each pour one drop of anti A, anti B and anti D. Use a needle or a toothpick to check whether clotting or agglutination has occurred or not. A tick mark indicates clotting or agglutination whereas a cross mark indicates no clotting or agglutination. Now let's see how to determine A positive blood group. Follow the same procedure and check whether clotting has occurred or not. as it can be clearly observed that clotting is seen only in anti a and not in anti b that mean antigen a is present and antigen b is absent hence it is a blood group secondly clotting is seen in anti d that means rh antigen is also present hence it is positive so the overall blood group is a positive now let's see how to determine a negative blood group do the same procedure and check clotting is only seen in anti a and not in anti b hence only antigen a is present antigen b is absent it is a blood group no clotting is seen in anti d which means rh antigen is absent it is negative blood group hence the blood group is a negative For determining B positive blood group, repeat the same procedure and observe. As clotting is only seen in anti B and not in anti A, which means antigen B is only present. It is B blood group. Clotting is also seen in anti D, which means Rh antigen is also present. It is a positive blood group. Hence, the overall blood group is B positive. For determining B negative blood group repeat the same procedure and observe in anti A no clotting is seen only clotting is seen in anti B which means only antigen B is present hence it is B blood group similarly no clotting is seen in anti D which means antigen D is absent it is a negative blood group thus the blood group determined is B negative For determining AB positive blood group repeat the same procedure and observe Here clotting is seen in both anti A and anti B which means both antigen A and antigen B are present it is AB blood group Clotting is also seen in anti D which means Rh antigen is also present it is a positive blood group hence the overall blood group is AB positive Repeat the same for AB negative blood group. Here clotting will be seen in both anti A and anti B which means both antigen A and antigen B are present. It is AB blood group. No clotting is seen in anti D which means Rh antigen is absent. It is a negative blood group. Hence the blood group determined is AB negative. Do the same for O positive blood group. Here no clotting is seen in anti A and anti B which means both antigen A and antigen B are absent hence it is O blood group Here only clotting is seen in anti D which means Rh antigen is present it is a positive blood group hence the blood group determined is O positive Do the same for O negative blood group Here also no clotting will be seen in anti A and anti B which means both antigen A and antigen B are absent it is O blood group no clotting will be seen in anti D also which means Rh antigen is absent it is a negative blood group hence the blood group determined is O negative thank you everyone for participating without your support this practical wouldn't have been possible I wish you all the very best for your upcoming board exams. Stay blessed. Thank you.